everybody, I'm Lee Bryce. Redneck boy running around the fields with guns and fishing and hunting and, and uh, playing any instrument I could get my hands on. Growing up, uh, the, I mostly got to listen to what my parents listened to, and that was a lot of gospel and a little bit of Alabama and the Oak Ridge Boys, country music. Uh, that, that was kind of where my basis of music stood. I'm hard to love, hard to love, oh, I don't make it easy. Well, I couldn't do it if I stood where you stood. I'm hard to love, hard to love, and you say that you need me. Well, I don't deserve it, but I'm. Uh, and, and as I grew, I grew into my own stuff, um, and the things that I that I loved went from just country to, to Garth, and then Guns N' Roses, and Pearl Jam, and and uh, uh, even and even now, um, you know, I'm Maroon Five or John Mayer or you know, Bruno Mars. I mean, I'm, I'm really. Uh, I'm really all over the map, truthfully. Uh, just anything that moves me. When I was 10, I picked up my guitar and I wrote my first song. And I took it seriously then, just as seriously then as I do now. So uh, I guess when I was about 10 years old, I, I knew I wanted to do some music. And then I saw Garth Brooks when I was 17 and in concert, and I decided that that's really where I wanted to head. I think what a big defining moment, there have been a lot of those for me in my career, but. Um, when I moved to Nashville, I met a few people, but I met Doug Johnson, and he uh, he ended up being a, a big fighter for me, and uh, ended, up being, ended up being my producer, my friend, uh, kind of a big brother, and uh, still is. So, uh, so uh, he kind of got me my foot in the door. Shooting pool in my bachelor pad, playing bass in my cover band. Be stocking up cold but light. My artist direction comes from a lot of places, you know, from my roots in gospel to uh, to uh, some concerts that I grew up watching, and uh, to the things that I'm hearing now, to really um, what how I live my life now, and uh, you know, music is life to me, so it's just kind of who I am, and uh, all of it. A lot of things inspire me right now. I got some friends that are making great records. Jared Neiman just made a great record that I love. I love this new Bruno Mars record. It's really great. Um, uh, I just heard a new. Uh, Imagine Dragons thing, just, you know, a lot of the new stuff that's coming out is really cool, I love it. I think it's one of the hardest things for an inspired musician is probably visualizing that dream as reality, you know, um, and taking a step to, to make it reality. You gotta go where the music is, you know, you gotta go to Nashville or go to New York, wherever the music is or the thing that it is that you love or that you want, you gotta go where that is, and that's the big, big thing, and that's the, hard, the hardest step, I think. Cause I ain't no party like the years I'll be on the road I'll be making hopefully two or three more albums by then um, maybe have another kid have one growing up and uh, you know who knows where the next five years will take me that's what's so cool about life we don't know it's exciting